Hi, I'm Barkley Hunter, lead programmer of Robocon. I would like to welcome you to this Paydirt programming showcase made possible by Best Robotics. Today we're going to look at the programming for Robocon's innovative new robot known as Reaper. This is an acronym for Robotic Extraction and Procurement of Earth's Resources. The Reaper program is made up of six primary sections, four of which make extensive use of the state flow logic system to provide real-time complex decision making. Let's take a closer look. The simplest section of Reaper's programming uses a latch to open and close the hand's single gripping finger, allowing objects to be easily picked up and held by the robot. The programming for our robot's carrier hook is identical to that of the hand. Also shown here is our use of color-coded go-to and from blocks in order to visually separate the distinct sections of the program. Reaper's clutch mechanism uses an unprecedented servo switch to allow one motor to control either of two separate functions on the robot. The control scheme purposefully separates the switch's two settings so that the driver can know with certainty that they're controlling the correct function during the match. The clutch system's logic is actually quite simple. The left button sets the clutch to its left setting and the right button activates the right setting. The wrist is arguably the most advanced programming component of Reaper. Its first major feature is the logic system known as Alt Exclusion. The Alt button is used like the Alt key on a computer keyboard, allowing us to reuse the same buttons on the controller for multiple separate functions. The other major feature of the servo wrist is the logic system known as Incremental Servo. This logic system allows the wrist to snap immediately to the two most common positions, level with the ground and 90 degrees. The wrist is also capable of moving in one degree increments to any position between the two presets, allowing Reaper to adapt to any situation. Reaper uses both of the controller's joysticks for its tank-style steering system. This provides better maneuverability than the single joystick arcade style. The system also includes precision mode, which halves the running speed of the motors for situations where very precise steering is necessary. Speed is determined in real time by this simple logic. This section of the program is the most diverse in terms of functionality. The Alt key precision mode and both compensation modes are all defined here, as well as the elevation systems for both the arm and the hand. The elevation systems also utilize precision mode, as well as two compensation modes which allow the elevation systems to hold heavy objects at a steady height. The only difference between the arm and hand elevation systems is light compensation mode, which is only used by the hand. Now let's look at some major milestones in the development of Reaper's program. The program began with a block-based logic system, but quickly converted to using state flow instead. This version was used for simulation of the finished program. Reaper's final program provides a highly capable and adaptable robot control system while still remaining intuitive for drivers. Seen here is the final control scheme for Reaper, as well as our Cortex plug layout. This concludes our presentation. Find more information about Robocon and Reaper at RoboconBHS.com. Thank you for watching.